Hi, my name is Justin Martin. I'm a driver for International Truckload Services from Belleville, Ontario, and I'm currently serving as a 2015-2016 Ontario Trucking Association Road Knight. Just a little tip for when you're in rush hour traffic on how to maintain your space. And sometimes it's difficult to do that. You're frustrated, you've had a long day, someone's cut you off, and it's almost uh, not natural to respond to that. But we're professionals and we have to be able to deal with things like that. So what I'm gonna show you is a little uh, technique that I, I think I've invented. I'm not certain if anyone else has heard of this technique before, please let me know. But uh, yeah, so here we go. We're in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. This is uh, 8.30 in the morning. It's a very busy city with, uh, right now I'm in a total of eight lanes that is shortly gonna be cut to six. And uh, yeah, so here's the technique. So as you can see, we're in rush hour traffic. A lot of people aren't leaving space. That's why we have little fender benders all over the city, which obviously slow the flow of traffic. Not only for the people in the lane that the accident was in, but also the lanes either side, even the other direction lanes slow down to take a look. So here's my technique. I'm gonna move the camera back to where my eye line is. Now what I like to do, put my hand on the top of the wheel and I put my hand at a 45 degree angle with my palm on the wheel. Now if my fingers touch that bumper, that's enough space. So right here, leave space. So I've stopped. I'm not even stopping actually, I'm just gonna keep moving along. But at a 45 degree angle, it allows other vehicles to maneuver back and forth in front of me like you're seeing. And if I can maintain the space of the vehicle in front of me, I'm not gonna go backwards. That's a myth. I'll never go backwards. If you ever have to put your car or truck in reverse on a freeway, interstate, or highway, it's because the police have advised you to do that. And that's the only reason. So it's a big myth, drivers. Don't worry about it. Maintain the space, okay? Maintain that space, and it allows everybody to move in and out. Now, what does that do for us as drivers? Well, number one, it will decrease your chances of having an accident in rush hour by 50%. That's huge, and it's very easy. It's one of the easiest ones to do. The other thing is that it's going to save on the company's equipment, or if you're an owner-operator, your equipment it's gonna save on brakes it's going to save from the stop and go that you're gonna be doing if you're any closer than I was I'm not impeding the flow of traffic there's only brake lights up ahead of me that's the only thing that I'm hurrying to get up to so remember that you're really only rushing to get stopped again so I've allowed myself quite a bit of space only because I can see up ahead of me there's brake lights up there there's brake lights so why would I you know be in a big rush to put my brakes on I'm just gonna get stopped so I'm gonna take my time so we talked about the company equipment is is we're being a lot easier on that company equipment brakes transmissions in the automatics not going in and out of gear not being on the gas on the brake on the gas that that's rough on a transmission in, in, in traffic. Take the exit on the right. <laughs> and uh, as well, and more importantly, to me as a driver, I you know I care about uh, the health of other drivers. Driving like this is going to lower your heart rate in what could be a very stressful situation. Um, I'm relaxed. I'm comfortable. I'm not getting frustrated. The chances of anyone cutting me off are slim to nil because I've given them enough space that they don't have to gamble with their life to get to their ramp that they didn't uh, they, they, they didn't prepare to get to. To say go from that far outside left lane across three lanes to get into this ramp on my right that's coming up. I've given them lots of space to do that. So I'm not gonna get frustrated with other drivers I'm not going to be on the brakes. I'm not going to be two feet off of a bumper. And you know what else it's going to do, guys? It's going to improve the public's perception of transport drivers. The public's perception is that we're not safe and that we follow too close and that we drive too fast. 
and that we don't pay attention to the highway. We can improve that perception by simply leaving space. Now, I don't know because it hasn't been tested, but it, I believe that if all the professional drivers out there left space like this, the traffic would flow faster, not slower. It can't be proven on a loop simulator because a loop simulator is finite. There is a limit to which the loop can be filled where you're going to have a traffic jam. But when you're on an infinite road, a road that doesn't have a, a beginning or an end and only has on-ramps and off-ramps, this technique right here of leaving space will improve traffic flow. But it's going to take more than just me doing it. It's going to take more than just a hundred of us doing it. We have to get the majority of drivers to jump on board with this idea. My name is Justin Martin. I'm an OTA road knight. I'm a professional truck driver and safety is my main concern. So practice safe driving. Have a great day.